Good afternoon, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my beautiful Ride Share Revolutionaries. It's me, Gio, the leader of the Ride Share Revolution, the Ride Share Rockstar, and the captain of the 2K Club. And I am the man, the myth, and the machine. And we're going to go into detail today of how much I made last year, 2018. And a couple things I want to cover beforehand, because I know I'm going to read these comments no matter what, but we have to address it off the top because I, maybe it's just me, but I know some of, some of my detractors and trolls aren't the smartest people in the world, and some of them only hear what they want to hear. So I have to explain myself very clearly, right? So first thing we're going to talk about is all the money I made from driving was in this little city, this, this little pocket of population, this really small, desolated area known as Chicago, right? The earnings I'm going to show you are reflective of a full-time driver in Chicago. If you compare my numbers to your numbers, you're just going to get angry. Because most places where you live, it's just not possible. There are certain pieces of advice or general hints I can give you to help you make more money in your respective market. But this information is on, is is really you know this this is only reflective of someone that drives in a major market where you have your market mastered, you know, and you're willing to put in the hours. That's just get that out of the way. Second thing I'm going to address is the amount of time it took me to make this money, right? I, everyone, everyone who follows my channel knows very well, I typically drive 70 plus hours a week. Literally. I mean, I treat this like a business. You know, most business owners, they're working 60 hours plus to make the money I do require 60 hours plus. Now I can go home, I like to make $1,750 per week, right? Um, that requires 60 to 70 hours a week in my market. It's not, it's just, it's just not possible to make it in less time here. Um, <coughs> Cause $1,750 allows me to pay all my bills, uh, allows me to chip away my debt and this year, it's going to allow me to set aside some money for retirement. It's going to set, it's going to allow me to uh, set up other business ventures. You know, that's the money I like to make is seventeen fifty, and it's not including the the time I spent managing my YouTube channel. Right, my YouTube channel is a labor of love. When it comes to making videos and managing comments and all that stuff, um, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, maybe five to ten hours a week for that. So. I'm essentially working two full-time jobs, you know, week in, week out. Um, and to my credit, I don't complain that much about it. I have things I'm not really thrilled about in terms of the sharing economy, Uber and Lyft and Via. Um, but, you know, it's it's part of, you know, nothing's perfect. You know, I, in, 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 in Chicago and with my work ethic, I'm afforded the opportunity to make this much money and I'm thrilled. You know, I set a goal of making $100,000 last year. I, I, I said, I want to make $100,000 and I did. And I'm going to prove it to you. Uh, the third thing we're going to talk about is expenses. Because all because I know you guys hear what you want to hear. Like, you didn't really make $100,000. You didn't. I know it says that, but you didn't really. You didn't really make $100,000. Uh, yes, I did. I did make $100,000. Do I get to keep $100,000? No. <laughs> <coughs> Obviously, in every business, I'm still sick. <coughs> in every business, there are expenses, and in the ride share business, the ride share business is no exception. Um, I've done videos about this before. My expenses for last year was about twenty three thousand dollars. 
right? So on $100,000 of total earnings, um, after expenses, that was about what, 70, $77,000. And obviously here comes the tax question. What about taxes? Oh, you're not talking about taxes. Uh, well, that's saying I'm not a tax guy. I don't know what to say about taxes because I haven't paid mine for last year yet. Obviously, I'm going to have to pay taxes at, for, for my earnings for last year. Um, but I have money set aside in a savings account. And I have $40,000 of deductions to claim for last year. So what my tax burden is, I'm not quite sure yet. I'm going to have to address that when I get there. But I just wanted to show you guys um, the breakdown of last year. And just something a little, a little, uh, just kind of idea I'm throwing around for next year, right? So, so that's this week. Pay no attention to that, even though I'm only like a couple hundred bucks away from from two thousand dollars this week. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's go to my. I love, I love, I love proving things. I, I, I like. I'm a shower, not a teller, right? So as you guys see there, that's my name, right? That's uh, that's the yearly breakdown for Lyft. For Lyft last year, it says I gave 516 rides and drove 11,290 mile, total online miles. Now, as you guys can see there, it says online miles. Total miles you drove while online. Those are not the miles driven with only a passenger. So I get to claim all of these miles, right? Um, yeah, there you go. So uh, I, I have, I, I'm, I'm going to take away, I took away the all these fees from the total and I'm gonna show you that at the end. So uh, this, uh, li the Lyft total was about 8,600 or 8,600 something, right? So that was Lyft. Here's Uber. Boom, this is the big one. Uh, six, Nearly 6,500 completed trips, 55,000 total online miles, gross earnings. That means all this, all the money that Uber kept, you know, and all the money the city of Chicago t kept for the for the you know airline taxes or like that, um, I uh, yeah, so uh, total was one hundred twenty one thousand after all those expenses, fees, and tax or whatever. Uh, my net payout was eighty six thousand two hundred sixty nine dollars. That's an Uber. So if you're keeping track right now, we're at about ninety five thousand dollars total that's not a hundred thousand right no it's not so let's keep on going this was via the third ride sharing app in chicago and as you guys can see there right there non-employee compensation uh three thousand thirty four dollars and 19 cents so that's about ninety eight thousand right now getting close to a hundred thousand but not quite there yet right and this is my ad revenue from YouTube. $2,050.46. Now, not everyone's that great at math, and not all of you are going to be like, well, is that $100,000? I'm not really sure. I forgot my calculator. Don't worry. I got one. Uh, there we go. Total. That's my YouTube money, top left. Via money in the middle. Uber money, top right. And Lyft money, bottom right. So that's one hundred thousand ninety-four dollars and twenty-five cents. That's I, I hit my goal by, <coughs> and I, you know, I just I just barely did it, guys. Yeah, uh, um, I'm very proud of that number. I'm very proud that for the first time in my life, I I I made I made six figures. You know, it's I was one man and I did it all by myself. Um, and I, now it's like, okay, let me set the bar higher. Let me try to build my YouTube channel a bit more, collect more ad revenue. Maybe try to get to $120,000 for this year, right? Um, I got some ideas. I think that's going to help expand my revenue, but I, I want you guys to know one of the things I am, there you go. That's yeah. So that's, that's the numbers. Oh yeah. One of the things on top of being proud of hitting that number. $100,094.25. One of the things I am most proud of, most proud of, is that 0, 0.00 of that amount is was, was me digging into the pockets of drivers. None of that money was me... I don't have a super chat on my live streams. I don't have a Patreon account. 
right? I don't sell driving courses. I don't sell websites. I don't sell t-shirts. I don't sell bullshit you guys don't need. I give you information because I want you guys to get out there and hustle. I want you to be comfortable. I want you to, to get out in your market with, with some confidence knowing that if you, if you work hard, you know, if you take the time to master your market, you stop making excuses, you can make money too. Now you're not going to make a hundred thousand dollars probably, but you can make money. All it takes is the right mentality. It takes a goal. It's going to take a little bit of sacrifice. Not everyone has to work 70 hours a week. It's just, yeah, I'm going to say it right now. That's, that's an extreme. I don't put that on anyone. You don't have to if you don't want to. I do it because there's no other avenue of work I can find that's going to, with my qualifications, that's going to pay me that much money in one year. This is all a direct result of me grinding, of me hustling, me getting after it, right? No, no one gave me this money. This was me earning this money, right? So... That's that's all I wanted to cover with you guys was, you know, I, I, I set a goal and I hit it. Just barely, but I hit it. And all my subscribers, you guys are along for the ride and I'm thankful for it. Um, this this wasn't easy. This was not easy. I know some of you come down to me for working so much, but I enjoy working this much. It's not... <laughs> Not everyone likes working. I do. I'm, I'm at my happiest when I'm working. I know it's crazy to say, but I really am. Um, I like putting in long hours. I like, <laughs> workaholic. Um, but, you know, I also make it fun. I joke around with passengers. I flirt with the hot girls. I turn down the gay dudes. It's, it's, it's always an experience, you know? And um, I just, I, I, I enjoy most of it most of the time. There are things I obviously do not approve of with the app economy. I don't approve of the way Uber and Lyft and Via treat the drivers sometimes. But for the most part, in my particular case, this it's a good fit for me right now. Um, but bear in mind, you know, I do like, obviously I, I've adapted more of a business sense doing this. So I'm always, I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way to maybe like grow my YouTube channel so I can get more ad revenue. Um, you know, I'm definitely going to make a video linking my, all my, all the products I keep in the car for, for Amazon affiliate money. Um, and I'm going to set up, even though I don't like Patreons, I am going to set up a Patreon this year for my podcast and anyone who don't, anyone who, uh, contributes that Patreon 100% of that Patreon is going to go to charity. 100% after the Patreon fees. Um, I did not start this channel to take money from drivers. That was never my intention. I refuse to do it. You guys are not... I don't, you, the driving community, you guys are not pockets to me. You're not pockets for me to dig into. Right? We are drivers, first and foremost. And I want you to be successful. I want you to get out there and make money. And I understand there's things that are being to be unhappy about. I get it. I really do. But another thing I have to sh have to you know explain. I, I I forgot to mention this before is many many people that go on YouTube like you guys. It's you might be looking for shortcuts, right? Unfortunately, I've never offered any shortcuts. I it's just it's not. If you're gonna if you're gonna do what you know if you're gonna, if you're gonna make the kind of money that I make, there are no shortcuts. You have to do things correctly. You have to form a strategy. You have to stick to it. You have to be consistent. You have to stick to a schedule. Not everyone. You have to manage your expenses. Not everyone can do this. This is not the right game for everyone. But if you are in a if you're in a part of the country where it's possible to make this much money driving, and it's not you know, a horrible strain and you still have time for friends and family or whatever, which, you know, oh, yeah, but you work 70 hours a week. Not everyone has to work 70 hours a week. Right now, I'm at 50 hours on all three apps and I'm at $1,600. I, 
I could I could stay home right it's Saturday I haven't driven yet today I could stay home right now if I want to I don't want to I want to get out of my city and make money I just want you guys to realize what's possible if you apply yourself um and yeah I think that's all I got guys um trying to make some big moves this year obviously adapting this business mind and you know I've got I've got a lot of great guys on my team I got a lot of I got a lot of hustlers I got a lot of people with ambition and you know that's the kind of people I want around me I want people that are willing to grow I want people that are willing to you know willing to accept challenges and willing and and understand it's not going to be easy. Nothing in life is easy. It's not supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be a challenge. It's supposed to be a grind. And when you embrace the grind, you come out better at the end. And uh, that's all I got, guys. Uh, I want to thank y'all. Why did my phone stop charging? Uh, I want to thank y'all for watching. Everyone, please, uh, you know, I hope y'all enjoy the video. Everyone, please uh, stay safe. Stay driven, stay classy, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Hope we all have a huge year this year, and bye-bye.